Yo, what up? Kip Toe here. I'm out here in Joshua Tree, California. I'm at my girlfriend's house. She's got a really cool kind of desert retreat house out here. And I'm kind of coming out here to take a break from all the city madness of LA and kind of get to work on a brand new solo show, a solo gallery show in LA on August 10th at UCUX on Fairfax. So after three years of painting and traveling around the world and doing murals, I thought it would be a nice way to change up the pace, kind of concentrate on something different and, and bust out a bunch of canvases for a show. So I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm so not a canvas guy, like I'm definitely more of a mural guy, but uh, I'm excited about diving into the challenge of doing these canvases. And I've been busy at work uh, under my little awning here against the hot sun and uh, the milk crate easel and my material table here. So uh, things are going pretty well so far. I've been out here for about a week. Been cracking out these three paintings. I like to start them out here, start them kind of crazy and like, you know, have a bunch of spray paint and handy, just kind of get the energy on there. Just want to have a bunch of energy to canvas to start with, you know, and then I can kind of break out the brush and start kind of carving out some shapes and then building on top of that and on top of that and just building layers. Uh, let me show you what I got working on down here. Here is some of the first three paintings I've been working on. These are all works in progress, kind of based on some of my other murals that I've done around the world, kind of put into a different spin and put into canvas form. So really, really uh, kind of happy how these are coming out. You got the lion man with the Pueblo coming out of his back here. So yeah, really fun to kind of push and pull the values and the structures and the textures and uh, try and do things that I can't do on the wall like these really cool textures that I can push with the back of the can and then with the palette knife and kind of pushing and pulling and uh, having these brush strokes here with the can on top and really just kind of having fun with it and getting freaky with it. So what I want to do now is bust out these two uh, two by four canvases, 24 by 48. And I'm going to have them kind of based on a couple murals that I've done and put them on the canvas and kind of have them really as its own little entity here. It's an easy way for me to kind of translate my work into the canvas and then kind of get into the rhythm of doing more canvases. So I'm going to uh, film these two canvases here. One of them's going to be the birdie, one of them's going to be the tiger hand. So let's do it. I think we're just about there in terms of spray paint and I want to kind of dive in a little bit deeper and use some uh, brush techniques, some brush paints and maybe like some palette knife, kind of carve some stuff in there. A little bit tighter 
that I can't reach with uh, with the spray can. So let's see what we can do. TJ the roadie, my girlfriend is in a rock band and she picked him up on the road in Mexico, in Tijuana. He was running right towards them and they dropped on their knees, picked him up and never let go. That was two years ago. TJ from Tijuana. <laughs> hey TJ, stop digging a hole. Got my own custom soundtrack right here. They're doing some rehearsal right now. The drummer just came back from like a five week tour teching for another band. So they're cranking it right now. It's pretty dope. Love listening to this. They're called Flames of Durga. Check them out. Let me get a little sneak peek of the rehearsal. I'm just like barely, barely tapping on this spray can, the skinny cap, and just like barely letting out any paint. And it kind of creates that dribble effect that uh, I really like and kind of gives it, when you look up close, you see all these little splatter effects. And I think that makes it really cool. From far away, you can't tell, but you get up close and it kind of gives it the extra little spunk that, you know, physical tactile works on canvas. So it kind of gives it that extra little oomph that you know, a canvas is kind of great for. That's what I'm kind of experimenting with here is like working with techniques that I can't necessarily use on a wall, you know? Oh, bam Yeah, dude. I mean, I think it's done. That was like super simple and super fun. Kind of this half abstract style that I got here based on the one in Grenoble that I did, obviously, but man, that was so fun. I wish I could do this for all my pieces. That would make, make my life so easy. But, uh, you know, I, I kind of have this half abstract, half kind of focused. And then I have like my other style, which is like kind of like renaissance -y, comic booky kind of stuff. But man, I'm really, this is the whole point of this show is to like explore and kind of develop and kind of create these new pieces. So you saw the process like 75 to 85% was all spray. And I came back with the brush and I was kind of scared that the brush on top of the spray would like really stand out and make it look totally different, but it, you can't even tell where the brush is and where the spray begins. You know, it's kind of like meshed in there and it has this kind of texturized quality to it that uh, I was going for, so. And it has obviously had this, this big movement and I like how it's, you know, it's kind of like a little chickadee. You would expect like an eagle or a raven or something badass, but no, nah, it's like, you know, even the, the little guys got some power in them. So we all have the power. We all got the strength. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, getting out there and doing it. And, you know, we'll once you get that in that flow, you feed your own momentum, you know? I think it's going to be a really cool piece. It's a really nice piece that would put on your wall, something that would look really nice as an interior decoration. That's basically what canvases are, a decoration for the interior to kind of spice up a room, spice up an atmosphere, give it that feng shui. And this just kind of has that movement that would really work for that kind of a space. So. Man, uh, until the next piece, let's keep going.